We declare an open heaven and we command to the foundations in Jesus' name that right now you give up that which by the commandment of an open heaven shall revive what has been dead, shall resurrect what has gone to sleep, shall wake up what has lost and fainted in the day of battle. Today, Lord God Almighty, we come unto you a rejoicing gathering of your daughters, of your women here in Zion, that we may be beautified in Jesus' name. Psalm 86, verse 2 to 6 says, Preserve my soul, for I am holy. That which is holy is preserved by God, separated unto him. O thou, our God, save us your servants that have trusted in you. By the trust of the Lord, those who trust in him, they will not be confounded. Whatever it is, you shall not be confounded. Be merciful unto us, O Lord, for we bring our cry unto you this day. Rejoice the soul of your daughters, of your women, here at this conference of Arise 2021. For unto thee, O Lord, we lift up our souls. For thou, O God, our God, ready to forgive, plenteous in mercy unto us as we call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, unto our prayers and attend to the voice of our supplications. This is an opening prayer. Not just for an event, but for lives and destinies. Purpose gathered here today, family, community, the nation. That his face will be gracious unto us because today we present ourselves as the face of this nation of Nigeria in Jesus' name. And therefore, in the spirit of. Show us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. Today, by intercession, the Lord shall grant intervention into situations and circumstances of this nation. O oh God of creation, direct our noble cause. Guide us as women of this nation, right by reason of this prayer. And now let us begin to pray. First of all, let us pray the prayer of verse 2, Psalm 85. To forgive the iniquity of the people of the land. And that Lord, where we have sinned, our transgression will be removed from us in Jesus' name. Please right now, let's lift up a prayer. Father, forgive us. As mothers and wombs of this nation, Lord, right now, we lift our voice. We are praying, we are praying. We lift our voices unto you. We bring the call of intercession to you. And Father, we say, Lord, even as we've come unto you by the prayer of mercy, forgive us, forgive our land. Forgive us as women. Forgive us as mothers. Forgive us as daughters. Forgive us as a frontline representation of your will in this land in Jesus' name. And where we have fallen short of your glory. Let your glory revive us again. In Jesus' name we pray. Where you are, where you are from, where you are called to, where you are going by reason of the destiny of God towards you, glory will be established in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Somebody say, I'm revived to receive glory. The Lord is reviving us today to receive glory. Somebody say, I receive my revival. I receive my resurrection power. I receive the anointing that destroys the yoke in Jesus' name. And I declare, and please say it with me, surely, surely, the Lord's salvation is nigh unto them that fear him. Lord, I fear you, and your glory shall dwell in Nigeria. Put your hands together and celebrate in Jesus' name. Oh God of creation, direct our noble cause, guide our leaders right to grow. Once again, we'd like to welcome everyone to this 
incredible word of the Lord established as a pronouncement, an announcement, and a broadcast to go forth from this altar to our nation, our geopolitics, in our 36 states and the federal capital territory, and through our diaspora dispersions all around the world, not just for Nigeria, but for the Nigerian woman being called out, being called forth, and being blessed to stand in her glory by grace and greater grace in Jesus' name. The power of the amazing in grace translates what is ordinary to what is extraordinary, what is water to wine, what is common to uncommon, but what is national to what is international. Today, by the power of that which has been established globally, and by the reference of all that is happening online, our declaration is that this is kingdom and this is revival in our land. The revival of the land, the revival of our nation, Nigeria, is the revival of our heart, of our spirits, of our faith, of our belief, and of our patriots to uphold her honor and glory. And this is the help of God in Jesus' name. Amen. So welcome to Arise 2021, the face of our nation. Come on, let's celebrate. Put your hands together. Propelled by compassion, because compassion is what it is that will translate the nation from what is bitter to what is better. You the Holy Spirit to every life here present and every life here connected, not just today, but from this day going forth. In Jesus' name we pray. October is the month by scripture where tops of mountains are seen. And in that place of the tops of the mountains being seen, there is a manifestation by revelation. The sons of God, I welcome everyone to this birthplace, resetting your vision and revising your hope and aspirations in Jesus' name. Engage. Don't set the counter. Let's allow that which fall of the spirit, lose our spirit, direct our hearts, our minds, gives us understanding again how to stand and how to go forth. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> 